Good morning, guys. Today I am running number six size shot, and I wanted to talk a little bit about heat control. Now, I know a lot of you guys are running all kinds of different ways of controlling your heat, but I just want to emphasize one main thing about this design. You notice that one dripper there. If you get behind on your lid a little bit, uh, one or two drippers will, will stop dripping. And that's a good thing. You don't have to ever worry about uh, your lid getting too hot. This pot is designed to just barely keep up with the amount of lead coming in as to the amount going out. And as long as you're doing that, you don't have to worry about heat controllers and uh, your lead getting too hot and your, your shot starting to pop corn. Now, the bigger the shot, of course, the harder it is to keep this thing fed. But with practice and a little bit of uh, a little bit of learning you can you can do it now you notice right there it's kind of caught up which that's okay you know no big deal just give it a little minute it'll it'll get going again but there's one thing you can be assured of that lead is not overheating if you occasionally have a, a dripper or two to stop that's that's a good thing you know that you're you're not overheating your lead because that is an absolute bad thing to get your lead too hot, it gets more dangerous, um, your, uh, your, your coolant has to be mixed heavier with more oil to prevent the shot from exploding. So you're running, a, a, putting a, a pound and a few ounces, I think these ingots are about a pound and four ounces. You're putting one in about every 30 seconds with 16 drippers making number six shot. Uh, so just wanted to throw that in. I know a lot of people talk about uh, PDIs and all this stuff, and it's a great thing. But I feel like some of your some of your older shop makers that's been doing it for a long time probably had to do that with some of these pots that had seven drippers. If you're only putting out seven drippers and you're running the 2500 watt burner, you're gonna have some problems because it's gonna get the lead way too hot before it can get out of the machine. So just wanted to touch on that a little bit and explain that if you can get this thing in balance, the amount of lead going in to the amount coming out and it just barely keeps up with itself, that's absolutely perfect. When it gets its uh, head pressure built up, you can see in the front chamber, the lead's really not even going all the way to the back. Um, there's a little space back here. So it doesn't take as much head pressure for six shot as it does for seven and a half or eight. Uh, I think I could actually run with number eight shot. It'd be no trouble at all to run 20 drippers. And you could probably run 22 drippers with number nine because it's just not uh, getting rid of the lead as fast as it can melt it. These shot are looking really good. They're they're really nice shot. No no goobers. No uh, bad shot you're going to be running about an eighth of an inch overflow as constant as you can and as you can see these ingots are going in pretty fast this uh, running at this rate you're going to make 125 pounds an hour and that to me is extremely important I know some people don't care if you make shot once a year and you make uh, 200 pounds for the year, I mean, it doesn't matter. 
but if you ever get into uh, selling some shot or providing shot for, for a lot of family members or you have to make a lot of shot, you're going to want to run 125 pounds an hour. You guys uh, take care, be safe, and uh, have a good weekend. Tonight is trap shooting night, and I'm looking forward to it. Have a good one.